Hi fellows, this is Alex from Thingsboard. The very first question from our customers is about updates and newly added features. There are a lot of them, so during a couple of days I'll YouTubing some tutorials of a hot addings. Today I rock a widget on the agenda. It allows you view old structure of your Thingsboard world. And something more. But less words, more practice. I'll create some customers, assets, and devices, and provide relations between them. By the way, it's available both in open source and in professional edition versions of the platform, as usual. Now it's time for building. Go to dashboards and create a dashboard hierarchy, for example. Aliases might be different. I'll start from assets with type district. It will show me my districts on a root level. Now we can add customers to our structure. So, basically this is it. But Hierarchy Widget is very flexible and can be used for creating interactive states as well. Add an action to this widget. And then create a new alias with action name type. Add an HTML widget. It contains Thingsboard logo. I'll change the title and configure it to highlight a selected node from Hierarchy widget. Few tricks and your active node is emphasized on the side. Deep dive to advanced settings. There are some functions. Relation query function defines the fetching, depth and source of filtering. You can use full screen mode to edit function. I'll edit codes in the same window just to make you see the change simultaneously. Lower max level, less hierarchy branch to display. This function is useful especially when you have more difficult relation structure than this one or when the number of the same entities exceed three ones. Just quick look on its using in professional edition. In this use case I have a lot of devices, assets and few customers. Because of numerous entities, I use max level 1 to avoid delays. You may notice that swirling icons. They appear due to rate limits in numerous queries. Children function specifying the number of levels to display. For example, I want my hierarchy consists of root entities and their first level related entities. While node open function manages the number of automatically expanded levels of hierarchy. Disabled function makes your node in hierarchy list inactive. 
I made in a survey attribute to my devices and assets. No disabled. Then I should add the name as a key to data source of hierarchy widget. Now my entities with no disabled attribute are inactive in my hierarchy. Icon function also allows you highlight some issues. My device has an alarm. I mentioned this key in data source. This occasion I'll mark with new icon that I take from material icon set. Text function enables adding notes or generate text connected highlight. I'll add exclamations for entities with alarms. Sorting function helps you define an order of root entities in hierarchy. By default, the same level entity sorted by names. If you are looking the answers about the platform, the shortest way to have full and reliable feedback is here on our YouTube channel. Stay tuned with us, give us stars on GitHub, and I'm looking forward to comments from you. May the things board with you.